So yeah, thanks for the nice introduction. Um, so yeah, I'm a data manager here at KBR. Um, and I don't want to torture you, torture you now with another long presentation. I guess we had a lot of information today, which was really nice to have a lot of information. It was a very interesting day, and I rather would like to conclude and, and summarize again what we have heard today, of course, with a little bit of a personal opinion uh, from my side as well. So what I really liked uh, today, one big part, I would say, was like the whole application versus data thing and like decoupling these two things like we have heard from uh, Martin Alvarez Espinar and the Quick App Initiative, like how nice it is if you have like a general app, which, which can do things um, in a general way, and then you provide data for different use cases because it also allows us to uh, think about the data more in detail. Um, and especially if the data has to be reused for different applications, you have to consider more things, like also Brecht said in his um, presentation, that lots of research databases become obsolete, and that it's also very important to describe data as rich as possible instead of just having big data. Um, and uh, also, as Annette Dortmund said in the, in the morning from OCLC, Mark does not work for specific collections and that we, we need um, linked components. And also, the talk from Share VDE also stressed that they also convert Mark and similar traditional formats to linked data, which is also like a very important step to get like the data reusable for different applications. And of course, for this linking to enable that, we, we have standards. Uh, as a glue, so we need that as well, that things still work. Um, like Brecht mentioned, the fastest hourly and the National Library of Spain, they also use different ontologies uh, in their DATOS uh, BNE uh, .es platform. Um, and we also have seen how on a more regional level in Flanders, the, in, the, in the Flemish Oslo standard is used in actually two different settings, like a one very decentralized setting, uh, but also one with a data hub, which aggregates data from uh, local cultural uh, institutions. Which brings me then to my third point, which is like the new need of data, uh, new needs and workflows. So everything changes now more or less to be more data driven. And we have to adapt that uh, in this direction as well. I mentioned already decentralized approach, which is possible. And very nice uh, was mentioned today in the morning in a talk as the Dutch way, which was from the um, Digital Heritage Network in the Netherlands, uh, which with their three main object uh, objectives, decentralization, distribution, and empowering then the local um, institutions uh, to, to publish their data and make it reusable. Um, and also what I found really nice is that they have like this network of coaches helping institutions with data problems and how to get started in the first place. Um, and an another nice example we have seen was from the new institute in the Netherlands, where they also created their lot ready database based building on, on this uh, um, cultural heritage network as well. And very important, of course, always at this um, point as well, which is also something Annette Dortmund said, uh, that we should never forget the humans. We always need a librarian um, yeah, in the loop somewhere to fix the data and, and with the domain knowledge uh, to, to work on that. And of course, what we also heard very early in the morning, we have to attract people with technical skills in order to um, yeah, be ready for the future. So my conclusion from the day would be, the decoupling from application versus data, so we have more time to think about the data to make it reusable, and of course, the, the new challenges, the new needs and workflows we have to consider. And thanks again to all the speakers today, and yeah, you will hear more from me, hear more from me tomorrow as well. Have a nice evening.